Good morning, everyone. So, let's talk about the coronavirus. Fact or fiction? Well, we know that uh, every report is different. I've heard, I've heard a nurse talk about uh, over in China. She talks about ninety-one thousand people have died, and uh, not to travel over there for the lunar holiday. And then I hear reports that that um, things aren't as bad as what they seem. Like when. I think it was 2012, the swine flu come out, and everybody was panicking over it, and it turned out to be not so bad, right? And, um, and they're saying that the coronavirus, I call it the Wuhan plague, um, is contractual via eyes and respiratory, which is breathing, by the way. So, if it's contractual... If you can get it through through the respiratory, that means that it's airborne, right? And uh, I was listening to Mr. Cat Eye yesterday, and he, I was think, wondering the same thing. Is this, you know how China's a communist country, and they only allow you to have, what, one child, maybe two? I'm not sure anymore. I'd have to look into that. But, uh... They try to keep their population under control. And what they do is if you get pregnant over there and you have another baby, they have this tub that they will, no kitty, that they um, have outside your door. And when you give birth to, the, birth to that baby, they just dump it in a, a, a vat of water and let it, let it die. I mean, it's just, it's repulsive. Um, is this a form of um, population control over in China? I, I, I don't know. And um, if, if, have you guys ever watched I Pet Goat? If you haven't watched the video of I Pet Goat, I'll leave it down in the description. But go have a look at that, and it's really compelling. I mean, they talk about everything that's going on right now, and Monograph talks about that. He's he's really good at deciphering and decoding stuff, you know, numbers and and uh, syncing them up and uh, figuring out the code that they're trying to pass through these different. Uh, publications that they have. Okay, so the Georgia Godstones, right? What is the very first thing that it says on the Georgia Godstones? Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. And uh, they have... Uh, the, the translation, it's in English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. And I could have swore that they had it in, um, shit, um, Sumerian also. But I'll have to look at that. Um, the second thing on there, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with the living new language. Four, rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. I mean, <laughs> I believe in protecting people and nations with fair laws and just courts, but that, that it does not apply to us. They're going to get rid of us, and this... To me, this is the elite's form of the the elite's laws after we're gone. Now, I don't think that this, you know, if if they wanted to take us out, they 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 slow kill us right through our food, vaccinations, uh, the air that we breathe, you know, the chemtrails and everything. And, uh, 
the shit they put on uh, our crops and stuff, and we eat, and Monsanto, who really needs to go. If anybody in this country needs to go right now, it's Monsanto. I despise them. I think that they're despicable, nasty. Um... Uh, um pathetic individuals, people that work for that company, I, I have no respect for you at all. You, 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 not, none at all. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court, avoid petty laws and useless officials, balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, seek in harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. Balance personal rights with social duties. Okay. Let's see. So, this disease, this uh, virus that they're hyping up, uh, and we have no, they're putting out, um, they are putting out propaganda. I would say 99, 98, 97% of it is, is uh, bullshit. And there's a little bit of truth. There's always a little bit of truth. And with the, uh, the, the propaganda that they put out. And uh, if, it's, if it's true... And the coronavirus is as bad as they say it is. Then I think it's bad. They're really bad. Um, they say that people are walking down the street and just fine one minute and falling out and hitting the ground and dead the next. Then I hear reports that... Uh, shoot. That... Uh, they have cured, like, 55 cases. I'm not sure where that is, if that's in Wuhan or Wuhan or Wuhan or where it is. Let's see. This is CNET. Coronavirus death toll jumps above 80. Five U.S. cases confirmed everything we know. And I'll leave this in the link. And, yeah, let's see. They are using um, the AIDS uh, medicines to cure the coronavirus, they said. I haven't, uh, I, I just heard that yesterday or the day before, I believe. And let's see, I wanted to look at this. Global stocks crash as coronavirus pandemic affects 3,000. China won plummets. Um, Wuhan mayor offers to resign as coronavirus cases near 3,000. Supply shortages intensify. Every hour, every hour that I look into this, there are new um, numbers being put out. And uh, they're not very consistent. In the U.S., they're pretty consistent. Let's look at this. I had it pulled up. I don't know what I did with it. Um, let's see. Chinese health officials have confirmed an additional fatality tied to the virus. Um, here's the latest roundup from Chinese state media. I don't believe anything China puts out. I mean, them people, I feel sorry for the Chinese, the Hong Kongians, or whatever you want to call them. I just, I feel for those people, especially the people from Hong Kong, because they want away from this corrupt government. All governments are corrupt. Let's just get that out of the way right now. They're all corrupt. But China... It, okay, you think about this, and I need to do a video about this. Do you know that there were 
tanks and armored vehicles. Sitting over in Mexico, when Obama went out of uh, um, the, the, when he had stepped down as president, I, we, I, will, I cannot stand Obama. He's the worst thing that ever happened to this country, but I digress. So, so they, the Chinese, the, the government, uh, Hillary, Obama, all these people have sold, they sold out our country and sold off our country. And I think California, I know California was one of them, but they had tanks and stuff. The China, they had China, they sold it to China, and China had tanks and stuff ready to come in over here when Hillary won. Okay, thank God Hillary didn't win because we'd all be in a world of hurt, right? And down in Alabama, or was it Mississippi? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into all this stuff. And I've come across it through the years, and I, I haven't saved it. And I don't know whether I can find it again because we know that, uh, that, uh, they are scrubbing shit off the internet, and it's very hard to find stuff. And I'm lucky to find what little bit I can find, but I will try to look into that. So, down in Alabama, and I know this because a lot of my people are from Alabama. Um, uh, the Chinese were coming in to some of the cities. I don't know if it was Birmingham. I'm not sure where it was. But they were coming in and taking over these cities. They were ready to take over our country or take over the parts that were sold. And um, lakes of water were sold to the Chinese. And they had these rubber rafts that they would fill up with water and pull it behind a boat and then ship it off over to China. Which, you know, we it's our country. They, they sold us out. But I do feel for the Chinese people because they live in the nastiest um, small field cities that I, I can't believe the filth that is over there in those countries. And I'm talking smog and pollution and trash and just n no country is perfect. But damn, I mean, come on, they can do better than that. But I'm ranting, and uh, I am going to go for now, and... Oh, yeah, did you guys see the videos of the people eating them bats? Ugh, my God. I just woke up, so it's, you know, it's a little, oof. It turns my stomach to even think about that. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to leave these links. And I'll leave the link for iPetGoat, too, in uh, the description. And remember iPetGoat. What was uh, President Bush Jr. reading to those children when the planes hit the tree towers? It was called My Pet Goat, right? And he was reading it, reading it upside down. And uh, they they uh, kept chanting over and over out of the book. book. Or I'm not sure if it, that was in the book. I've never read that book, actually. But um, Kite Must Hit Steel. Kite Must Hit Steel. Something like that. And that's what they were reading. And Bush had that book upside down because these people are so backwards, you know. Um, up is down, down is up. Left is right, right is left. Yin and yang, you know, and black and white, you know. And uh, they they live on duality. That's how, you know, you can read them like a book after you learn their comms and everything. Or, you know, and I haven't learned them all. No way. Have I learned them all? Um, I think that's why a lot of people in Hollywood study the Kabbalah like they do. Because that's where a lot of their comms come from. I think these people, and they, they admit it, I think that they are the fallen, um, 
the offspring of the fallen. It's very possible. I don't know. Uh, it's just thoughts that I entertain, you know. Uh, true or not, I think they believe it's true. And they're probably right. And they keep... The Vatican has... <laughs> Rooms and rooms and rooms under under their dungeon, you know, down in their dungeons of of manuscripts and um, books and stuff that, that we're not even privy to. We're, we're not allowed to read that because um, we're not elite. And I call them elite not to prop them up. It's because they're elites. Okay. They, they worship El, Moloch. Um, and who are all the same person, you know, L, Saturn, you know, if you, every logo, just about, goes back to Saturn. Everything on this earth, it seems like, is intertwined with Saturn worship. Everything. From the words we speak to, uh... The symbols that they use to uh, mathematics to, I mean, it, it's so deep. I, don't, I want to do a video on Saturn. I understand a lot about Saturn, but how do I put that into words? How do you take something that is so um, intertwined in everything and break it down? Uh, I used to listen to a guy, what was it, Occult Science 101, and he had to change his uh, channel a lot, and now he's got a, an online site that, that uh, I go to sometimes. I haven't been there in a while, but uh, Bill, Bill was his name, and uh, he was a, a freaking pro when it comes to deciphering Saturn, Saturn symbols, and everything Saturn, but it, and I listened to him for years, and I had to listen to his videos over and over and over again to understand, or try to understand, the complexity and the, the fascination that these Elites have with Saturn, and Saturn is Satan, Santa is Satan, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go there, but uh, I hope everyone has a great day, I might come back and do another video, I, I need to up my game, don't I, folks, um, uh, you know, I work from home, and I've just been so busy and everything, and and, uh, but I want to get back into making my videos, and, uh, I want to speak off the cuff, and I'm not very good at that, don't claim to be, and I'm not one to show my face, and it's just not going to happen, <laughs> but anyway, um, thanks, you guys, um, I hope you have a great day, and hopefully I'll make a video later on today or tomorrow.